Oh, wowzers, trousers, sorry guys. It, this, it's just not been working. And now it is. For goodness sake. Oh, it scared me because I was just about to turn it off and it came back on. Well, hello again, it's Mr. B here for the new year. Hope everybody is doing amazing things and uh, ready to get into the new year. Uh, so, look, I just wanted to have a chat today. We all do it. We set our intentions, our New Year's re resolutions, and new, new, new Year, new beginnings. Right? That's uh, that's been my my thing the last couple of weeks as I try to get over the Christmas rush. What? Um, just if anybody out there, just pop in the down the bottom what your New Year's resolution is. You know, is it the gym? Is it is it uh, relationships or having more fun? It's one of the things I really wanted to, to do this year is have more fun. Um, less stress, improved mindset, uh, get that promotion you've been after, you know. So my main focus this year is to be more organised, believe it or not. I know I look like the most organised person in the world. Look, I've got little things here which are all in rows and it looks very, very colourful, doesn't it? That's, that's because my wife helped me with that. Uh, look, I'm not... Organised and following a plan is not my natural state, let's say. So, I'm awesome at setting goals. Okay, New Year's resolutions, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, going to do that, going to do whatever. But following a plan, is, is, I do need it, absolutely. And it is a mess when I don't follow a plan and you, I just, I'm just everywhere. Okay, so, and even when I have a plan, I... I can have that plan, and can it, be, it can be sitting there on my desk. There's my plan at the moment, and you can, as you can see, I've ticked things off, and I'm going to tick this off very, very shortly, Facebook Live, so that's great. But um, I can have it sitting there. I'm a person who gets distracted quite easily. Now, I, and I can float around, and a fly will buzz past, and oh, shiny thing, I'll go and do that. You know, having a plan doesn't necessarily mean you're going to follow through. Okay, and um, I've found this over and over again the last few years. You know, everything keeps going well, and we're on track, everything's amazing, and we start to develop really good habits, and then somehow, as, as we're distracted, or the kids are doing this, the kids are doing that, we, we start to fall back into our old habits because it's our comfort zone. Okay, even though we have developed new habits. And that's, that's where being accountable and having a mentor comes in really handy. Albeit irritating sometimes. Sorry, Nick, if you're watching, you are not irritating. The things you tell me sometimes are irritating, Nick, because it's not what I want to do at that time. So uh, I do have to thank Nick. She's been an awesome support and helps keep me on track so I can help more kids, basically. You know, and, and when we don't follow a plan, we don't follow a strategy, what happens? We, we go into overwhelm, we stress out, we have, oh, that's got to be done, this has got to be done, and it all just blows up. And that's what, we, that's what I found for before Christmas, and how hectic is Christmas, right? Um, so, it, it, it's something that needs to be learned, and we need to grow those neural pathways around that, which I'm doing at the moment, uh, and have been doing, I've been getting better, and I'm going to be amazing at it this year, absolutely. Uh, so, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, is, do you have a goal, a New Year's resolution, and have you got a plan to actually follow through? Yeah. It's also good to have the plan, but is there somebody there to make you accountable? And just thinking about our kids for a second, if they have a goal, okay, Where's their plan? Where's their accountability? How are we going to get from A to B? It's amazing. We can have um, goals to our heart's content, but unless we've got the action going into place, what's going to happen? You know, we had one boy this year, um, and his goal, uh, we were working on his reading and his, his writing and all those, the three R's, uh, but his goal, his main goal after, I think it was three years of soccer, he had never actually kicked a goal. So that was his goal, to kick a goal. Make sense? Barely. 
So, guess what's happened this year? Three goals. Three. Three goals is kick. After years, he put it up, he had a look at it, he had a plan. Okay, he was going to practice this, practice that. And he, that was all him. Okay, all you have to do is put it in place, put the steps in place, go to training, practice at home, do those sorts of things. So he did that, and that's quite amazing. Um, I like that, anyway. So, if, if this is some, developing those habits that I didn't seem to develop early on um, as a child, those success habits, you know, setting goals, following through, not getting hung up on the mistakes, that's a big one. That's a big one. I just got off the phone. This lady, Catherine, if you're watching, you're amazing. Okay, she, she just rang me out of the blue and said, I just want to help kids. What can I do? Isn't that cool? Off her own back. And, and she's obviously been done a lot of things that can actually help kids. So, yeah, good on you, Catherine. Say hi, put your, put your name down the bottom <laughs> and, and uh, in the comments. So, yeah, if you need help, okay, which we all do. I do. I've got a mentor for that reason. If you need help, Okay, to put strategies in place, be accountable, okay, and start hitting those New Year's resolutions instead of a month later. It's probably some of your New Year's resolutions have already passed and you're back into old habits. That's exactly the same thing that can happen with our kids, whether it's, whether it's oh, right, we're going to eat around the dinner table more often. That's going to be our target. What's happened after the first few days? They're on the beanbags eating dinner again. Yeah? It happens, it happens a lot. Um, so developing those strategies and hitting those targets and being made accountable is what we need to, to really set ourselves up and set our children up for uh, a growth mindset and being able to succeed in whatever they wanna do, you know? Um, it's been a big, it's been a big eye opener and you might have seen the visualization tool my boy uh, had to do with golf he made it to the state championships. I'm so proud of him. Good on you, Gus. Uh, look, if you do need help in this area, we have the tools and the strategies at the moment we, that we have put in place over the years with many of our children that I would love to show you, okay? So to do that, uh, there'll be a link down here somewhere. Just click the link, come along, listen to how we can set our kids up for life. All right, hope that wasn't too waffly, Mr. B. Waffle Town, Mr. B. Did you look at my very pink and pastel shirts. That says Mr. B. It looks like it's a bit round the wrong way at the moment. But look, I would love to. I love you to come and have a look at our <laughs> Mega Mind makeover uh, on Friday. If you're available, come and join us. And if you don't, grab a plan and make sure you stick to it. Unlike me, don't get the shiny thing syndrome. Oh, what's that? What's that? Stick to it. Okay, guys. Amazing, good to have you on board, and make good memories in the holidays. Cheers.